Hey guys, it's me, Shauna. I just got the new glam bag and I am ready to share and tell you my thoughts. So here goes. I hope you're ready. Um, here is this month's glam bag. It is mesh. I think it's probably good for holding stripper panties. I think it's actually like a stripper theme this month. Is That might be what they went for. So, wasn't very impressed with last month's glam bag. And I'm like kind of okay with having, you know, some lame glam bags and not loving all the products. But I kind of feel like if I like, if I love one product a month, then I'm happy and I don't really care. But I kind of feel like last month I got totally gypped. Like the one thing that they said, it was like an option. The whole Buxom lip gloss, I was kind of excited. And then I realized I got the freaking the shitty nail polish and I haven't tried it because I don't wear nail polish like I don't do my own nails but I got yellow nail polish which is very like high school or something I don't wear yellow nail polish and if you wear yellow nail polish like that's your own problem um but so the first thing I did notice was this month look what the fuck I got oh so you're telling me I got like the same freaking nail polish in two different ugly colors. So last month I got yellow, and what do I get this month? <gasps> Neon orange, I am really excited about that. Not at all. I'm actually kind of like, what the fuck? That's retarded. So that already put a bad taste in my mouth, and I'm like, huh, okay. Stripper bag, um, crappy nail polish. They sent me their own brand of lip gloss, My Glam Glam Gloss, and I actually just put it on to try it out. Um, it kind of smells like, <sighs> it, it smells like some sort of like stripper body spray. And I, I promise they have the theme of this, and it, it doesn't look, I mean it's not the most terrible color on earth, but it's not anything special either. So whatever, um, okay. And I got Dragon Fruit Roll-On Perfume Oil. I don't know who Demeter is. If that's the brand, I guess. Fragrance Library. But that also smells like stripper. And I think anything in a roll-on perfume, that can't be good. But this is just, oh, it's really disgusting. It's really just terrible. <laughs> So, and I'm not like them, I'm usually pretty easy going, but I'm just like, really? What happened? They just got really, really, really just kind of shitty and cheap on me. The next product is Salty Cosmetics. It's a, like an eyeshadow, Glamzoid eyeshadow, and I actually put it on over my normal eyeshadow. It kind of works like the, whatever the pigmented powder you stick over your eyeshadow from MAC, but it has kind of a... A stripper sheen to it. Like, I see, I'm just, I'm a hater this month. I'm a fucking hater. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm not usually a hater. I'm usually extremely optimistic about everything. So, and here's the last one. It's, I'm not going to say it right, like, Ecolos. Ecolos? Ecolos. Plant-based beauty, and that's whatever, kind of cool. Anti-aging cellular activator face serum. Cool, whatever. Um, and moisture, anti-aging moisture therapy regenerative cream. And these are kind of like when you get a facial and they send you home with samples. Oh, wait. It's the exact same size they give you. So, actually, it's smaller. <sighs> so, well, no, it is the same size. So, whatever. But, anyway, all in all, last month wasn't stoked. The thing I was happiest about was the um, facial wipes, which probably, if I was to buy an entire package of these wipes, would maybe cost me three or four dollars. So I'm just, you know, not really feeling the glam bag lately. You know, I'm kind of bummed because I really wanted to like them and all that. So I'm definitely looking at switching to another bag. And I kind of was looking at Birchbox, and then they had some bad, some bad months, which everyone does, whatever. But I think maybe their product lineup might be geared a little bit more on like the higher end products. So um, I might check out Birchbox if you guys have any recommendations of um, subscription services or um, have any that you're interested in and want to hear about. 
please let me know because I'm, I'm kind of keeping an eye out right now. Um, and one last thing I got today. Can you see this? Yep, I got a new hair dryer. It's my very first like expensive hair dryer. I've never really understood why people paid a lot of money for hair dryers. But after $100, I'm going to find out. And for some reason, I got a free. I didn't even realize that I clicked the one that gives you a free straightener. So it's the Baby Bliss Diamond Titanium Ionic um, Hair Dryer. I thought it was 2,000 watts, but it's 1,900. So cool. I'm really excited. So I can't wait to try it out and let you guys know exactly what I think. So thank you guys. Please subscribe. And we'll talk to you soon.